everybody! Today I'm going to show you guys my super simple hair and makeup routine. I do this pretty much every day and I will show you guys all the awesome products I use. So for hair, I don't use many products when I style it, but one product that I always use that I've been using since college is this Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. It really keeps the frizz down and it makes my hair smooth and silky. Next, I'm just going to spray this Paul Mitchell heat protectant all over my hair. Love this stuff. And then I'm going to get blow drying. And I'm sure you can tell, but I have a lot of hair and I have <laughs> long hair. So it usually takes me a good 10 to 15 minutes to blow dry it. Now let's start putting on some makeup. So I'm gonna go in really fast with the Make Sense Silk. This is an awesome primer, I'm obsessed with it. Then I'm gonna go in with some color correcting. So first I'm gonna go in with the green concealer and I'm gonna cover up some redness that I have on my face. I just got back from a vacation and so I got a little burnt in my nose, so I'm just gonna cover that up. The green neutralizes the red and it is awesome. Next, I'm going to go in with the white concealer. This is really great for brightening up under your eyes, kind of like a pre-highlight. So I like to put this on before I go in with foundation and concealer, and it just brightens up all the areas that need to be brightened. Next, I'm gonna go in with the medium color correcting tinted moisturizer. You guys, this is literally my obsession. This feels like a facial. It covers your imperfections, it corrects discoloration on your face, and it just makes you look flawless. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Color Correcting Concealer in the shade Light, and I'm just gonna go make a triangle pattern under my eyes, just to highlight and brighten up under my eyes. I definitely have mom tired eyes, so this is essential for my makeup routine. So now I'm going to go in with the natural powder and I'm just going to set this area. I usually don't set my under eye because this concealer stays put and does not go into the crease, which I think is pretty dang amazing, but it's pretty humid outside so I'm going to go ahead and set it just to be sure. Next I'm going to go in with the Make Sense Foundation in Fawn and I am going to contour with it. So the reason why I like to use foundation versus a bronzer is I find that it has a lot more of a flawless finish and it seems to blend a lot better with the color correcting tinted moisturizer. So it's kind of like my little hack. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze my whole face. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite blush, Cherry Blush Scents. You do not need a lot for your cheeks. This stuff is pigmented. So I put a little dot in my hand and then I'm using a really fluffy blush brush, usually used for powder, but I actually really like the finish that it gives this cream blush. And I'm just going to blend cherry on the apples of my cheeks and I'm going to blend up, up right above my contour and then in a C motion.
So now I'm going to go in with a couple more powders. This one is the blush shade of powder. It's called Silver Dust. I'm obsessed with it. It's kind of got a slight shimmer to it, so I'm just dusting that over my blush. And then I forgot the clip, but I also used the bronze. Now I'm going in with another obsession of mine, the Make Sense Pearlizer. This highlight is the best. It's kind of a light champagne gold tone and I'm just hitting the tops of my cheekbones and I'm actually putting it on my lid as well just to give my shadow later a little bit of a glow. Now for eyes. I am going to use one of my favorite products, Shadow Sense. And as you can see, I'm using quite a few shades on my eyes today. And I'll show you guys how I use it. So first I'm gonna go in with Candlelight. And Candlelight is a really good, it's just kind of like a concealer color. So I'm just gonna add a really quick base to my eyes to make sure my other shadows blend really nicely. Next I'm going to use Mocha Java. Mocha Java is my go-to crease color. I pretty much use it for every single look that I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this into the crease. And I'm actually going to go in with another layer after I do this first layer just to darken it up a bit. Next up, I'm going to go in with Garnet Shadow Scents. This is a warm brown and it's darker than Mocha Java. And I'm gonna concentrate this in the corners of my eyes, kind of making a sideways triangle shape. I'm going to first lay down a little bit of product and then I'm gonna layer and blend it out. Next step is one of my favorite shades, Smoked Topaz. This is kind of a brownish green color. It is gorgeous and it's actually really pretty in your brows too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over the lid and I'm going to then take my fluffy brush and blend in the green with the Mocha Java. And this is gonna create a really pretty base for when we put our shimmer colors on top. Now for the star of the show, my new favorite shimmer, well actually glitter shadow because it's that sparkly. This is the rose gold glitter shadow scents. I'm literally obsessed you guys. There's 10 different glitters in this. It is so shiny, so pretty. You can put a little bit for a shimmer, put a lot on, doesn't matter, but I love it. So next I'm gonna do my liner. I'm using Onyx shadow scents to do this. And all I do is I take an angled brush and I line my lash line and then I create a small wing. Since it's an everyday look, I'm just gonna do a tiny ring, a kitten wing, if you would like to call it that. So all I do is I take some product, put it on my eyes and then grab some more and I just tap my brush to the wand.
Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a brow bone and inner corner highlight. So I'm using Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. And I'm just putting this right under my brows and in the corner of my eye. Next step is I am going to take the lash scents and I am just going to put one small coat on my lashes just to prep it for my falsies. I love this stuff because it is truly waterproof. Literally the only mascara I've ever tried that is truly waterproof that won't come off in the pool. It is that good you guys. So the lashes I'm going to use today are the Ardell Demi Wispies. These are my favorite lashes, you guys. They're really pretty for every day and for glam looks. They just look really natural. They look like lash extensions. Alright, so now let's put on some lip scents. I'm going to use the color Dawn Rising today. We're going to shake it up, make sure the pigments aren't resuspended, and I'm going to scrape the wand to make sure I'm not putting too thick of layers on, and I'm going to dry my lips, make sure there is no saliva that will make it so the lip scent doesn't stick to my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and do the three layers, letting it dry in between each layer, and then I will top it with a gloss. Now that we've got our gloss sealing in the color, you can see it is totally kiss proof and smudge proof, which I love. And bonus, the shadow scents is all smudge resistant as well. It's not going to come off. It is so good, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you loved it, be sure to subscribe and give some hearts. And be sure to leave a comment below saying hi and asking any questions that you might have. Until next time, thank you for tuning in.